Hello, I'm James Shear from the Accountancy People and I want to talk about how you fund your business and also about how you get uh, really good uh, rates of return from your savings. What I want to talk about particularly is peer-to-peer -peer lending. Now peer-to-peer -peer lending is when you as an individual lend to a business directly without the intermediary of a bank. The traditional problem with banks um, is that they're quite bureaucratic uh, institutions by their nature. Um, and it can take quite a long time um, to, to go from asking for a loan to actually getting a loan. And then, and, and at all that time, it is uncertain whether the uh, loan will go through. And I think what most business owners is wanting, it wants is a much quicker process. Um, and and it's, it's just in the nature of the world we live in um, that old fashioned systems where you have to wait for months of things have just become unacceptable to us. When you can get um, anything from Amazon delivered tomorrow, um, then waiting two or three months uh, for a decision from a bank just doesn't seem acceptable to us anymore. Peer-to-peer -peer lending is really uh, users and leverages the new technology uh, because they have basically have a platform um, that, that will do the risk assessments uh, very quickly um, on, on you as an individual and on you as a business and then advise um, potential investors um, of your risk profile so that they can make a decision about uh, whether to lend to you. Uh, and the platform will also do you know, the personal guarantees. You can't get away from a personal guarantee that uh, somebody who's lending to a small or medium sized business will always want a personal guarantee. Um, they'll also do the security, so if it's a property loan, they'll sort out all the security loan. And if anything goes wrong uh, with the loan, i.e. you don't pay it, um, then the platform will have a procedure for, uh, for, for enforcing the debt. So why do people like this? Well, inherently within banks, they have quite big overheads. You know, they've got high street costs, they've got managers, um, and they've got their own bureaucracy. Um, so they are quite expensive. Um, so, so, but an online platform can do all of, do all of that at a much, much lower cost, which means potentially as an investor, you can get a better return. And, um, and, and, as, a, uh, and as a borrower, you, you're perhaps not paying as much. Um, but also, from, from the borrower's point of view in particular, um, the whole process is much, much quicker. So it can take like a day um, to, to get an agreement in principle rather than the, as I say, months that you can have with a bank. So what are the problems with it? I think fr from a saver's point of view, I mean, if you just put your money in the bank, then it is pretty much guaranteed. I mean, there's a particular guarantee that the, that's guaranteed with the government, but in practical terms, um, as I think the, you know, the, the, the crisis proved, it, does, it is actually very difficult uh, for the government to allow banks to fail. Whereas if you've lent to a small business, um, then, uh, then there is obviously risk to you and risk to your capital, and you can lose your money. Um, these risks can be mitigated by having lots of small um, small loans. So, so something like uh, Funding Circle uh, allows you to lend in twenty pounds uh, segments. So, it, so if you if you got two thousand pounds, you could get a hundred uh, different uh, different uh, investments, which means uh, that the risks are mitigated. But that doesn't mean that you don't have systematic risks. So, if there was a recession, then perhaps quite a lot of small businesses um, would default on their loans, so you would have a disproportionate amount of, um, of a problem in your portfolio. And also, if there's even a problem uh, with the loan, so it might not default, it might just be late in their payments, um, that means that you don't like, you don't get your instant access account or anything like that. Um, you've got to wait until the, uh, the person who's, who's, who you lent the money to is, is able to pay you. From, from the borrower's point, point of view, it is a really quick and easy um, way of doing it. Although some of the um, interest rates that I've seen are higher than you would get in, in the, for a, uh, on, on the high street with a, with a bank that you've got a long-term relationship with. I mean, all that said, as I said at the beginning, you'll still need to have um, a personal guarantee because uh, because anybody who's lending to a small business would want that. Um, and it, it doesn't mean just because uh, there are all these platforms that you will necessarily be able to get the uh, loan that you want or at a, an interest rate you're happy with. Um, for example, on Funding Circle, um, I've seen interest rates of 6%, more commonly 8%, which is sort of okay, but I've also seen interest rates of 18%. 
And 18%, you know, if you're borrowing money for five years at 18%, you're going to be paying a lot of money back. Um, so, so that just needs to be uh, thought through. So if you want to talk to me about a more modern way um, to fund your business um, and the principles um, of using this as an investment tool, um, then please get in touch. I'm James Sheard from The Accountancy People and I look forward to speaking to you.